Hey guys, so we've been talking about discipleship, so I want to continue on that vein. And a big thing about discipleship, this learner, is accountability. You know, as a, as a teacher, you know, I have, I have students and, you know, like whenever I teach them something, they have to be accountable to the things that I teach them so they take tests, right? Or, you know, like whenever it comes down to it, if they know that they're supposed to do something, like even their behavior, right? They've got to be able to look at something and say, oh, okay, this is not what I'm supposed to do. They've got to be accountable for their learning. They've got to be accountable for their behavior. They just have to be accountable. And a big thing about discipleship is accountability. Whenever um, you think about it, like somebody is pouring and investing in your life, and if you're not honest with them, if you're not coming to them, you know, with um, some sort of openness to that, then they're not going to be able to so much into you. Uh, you know, it says in uh, the book of James, the fifth chapter, um, it says, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another. The pr uh, prayer of a righteous person is power and powerful and effective. And I thought that was interesting. I hear people say the prayers of a righteous person are power and powerful and effective. But whenever I think about it, I don't hear them attach it to the other part of the verse. And that is that we need to confess our sins to one another. See, because whenever we confess our sins to one another in this discipleship accountability method, you know, like we pray for one another, then it shows that we are being accepted in spite of the fact that we have messed up, right? And this, that, think about that, that's powerful. You know, whenever somebody sees your faults and sees your mistakes and says, we're just going to pray, everything's okay, I'm not, I'm not leaving you, Right? Think about it, whenever, you know, like Jesus rises back from the dead and we see this moment whenever he has for, for Peter and he says three times to Peter, Peter, do you love me? Right? This is this reconnection because Peter said that he loved him and he messed up. But he said, look, you know, like I, I love you. You know, like he was able to turn it around and he was able to make that connection and restore and reconcile. And that's what it all comes down to is that, you know, as, you know, Christ on the earth, we are the flesh of walking around of the Bible, of, of Jesus, of God. We are shining that light. Whenever we confess our sins to one another, then we get to say, hmm, I, I can react as Jesus would and say, it's okay. We're going to work through this. Let's pray. Let's go to God. He, he can help us with this. So your accountability is not about someone else having the ability to blackball you and tell you all the things that you've done wrong. It's more about, hey, now this other person, this person that's mentoring you, the person that you're confessing it to, they have a chance to be Jesus and to be able to say, hmm, yeah, that's, that's not right, but let's pray. This will be all right. Everything's going to be okay. So do you have somebody that you're accountable to? Do you have someone that you're confessing the things that you do wrong to? Do you have somebody that you just have that voice in your life to be able to say, hmm, it's just not right? And if you don't, can you find that person? Who would that person be? Thanks for taking a minute.